Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different and I am going to start drawing stuff for Christmas. Oh my god, it's snowing! Oh god, how exciting. Yes, I am going to show you how to draw four different types of snowflakes that are different levels of difficulty from easy to a little bit more advanced. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out, especially that like button. You have no idea how much it helps to promote my channel. Please also leave a comment, like, chat to you guys and get to know you a bit and build this fashion community up. All right, okay, let's just get straight in there and let's get started. Okay, first things first, as you can see, I have got four different images of snowflakes that I would like to try and recreate. And as you can see, they go up from very, very simple to a little bit more difficult, then it's a little bit more extravagant and detailed, and then one that's completely drawn into and very Christmassy and very exciting. So, first things first is I'm going to draw this simple one here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a line. And then I'm going to make sure that that line is really thick. So I'm going to say maybe around 20. Mm, let's just go a little bit thinner. Let's go 14. Okay. And then I'm going to round the cap, which is just this little button at the side here. And then I'm going to draw another line. And as you can see, it's just like a bit of an angled line here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to copy Command and C and paste Command and F. And that pastes in the same place. And then I'm going to right click transform and reflect it and then I'm going to hold shift and move it across until it snaps into place and these two lines are touching so I'm just going to press ctrl and j and that joins these two lines up so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to group these together I'm going to press command and copy and then command and f and then I'm going to hold shift and rotate it and move it down so it looks like that and then all I'm going to do is group that again and then I'm going to copy and paste and then I'm going to move this round slightly until it gets to about a 45 degree angle probably just a little bit less because there's only going to be six spokes I'm going to copy and paste that again right click and transform and reflect it vertical and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to maneuver it a little bit until they look a little bit more even and delete the one that doesn't transform and reflect and there you go. Now, if you wanted to, you can make it thicker at this point. So let's go to 20. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go object, path, outline stroke. And that basically makes an outline of every single one of the lines that you've drawn. And it's no longer just a line. So then I'm going to go here to my pathfinder. And then I am going to click the unite option. And that unites is all in one. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline it. And then colour it in the blue colour. Make the outline thick. And there you go. That is your first snowflake done. Easy, right? Hey, let's get on to the next one. So we're going to do the exact same process again, but this time we're going to just put more lines in it. So as you can see, the top one is slightly bigger than the middle one. So we're just going to draw that and then we're going to do the same process. And then I'm going to copy and paste that again and bring it slightly lower and make it slightly smaller. Okay, then I'm going to do the rounded cap tool again. And it's basically the same process as before. Group it and then control and paste but this time it's not just six spoke it's an eight spoke so you just do it on a cross like that copy and paste again and then you rotate it 45 degrees and there you go so you can either leave it like that which i'm going to or you can delete any bits that you don't want it in there's another snowflake so again just go through the same process so you go to object path outline stroke and then it does the exact same thing so then all you have to do is unite them command and i and then there you go there is your second snowflake okay so now on to the third one now this one is a little bit more tricky but you know it should be easy enough to do so as you can see it's a star shape so so if i just click here on my rectangle tool option and hold it the other options come where you can do a star tool. Here's where you can draw a star. And as you can see, if I hold shift, it just snaps into place and makes sure it's the right way up. But it's not got enough spokes. So if you just press the up or down button, you can add more or less. So here we go. We're going to add six spokes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the line thicker. Mm, let's go around 16 and then get rid of the internal. And then I'm going to go object, path offset path and what this does is it basically means that you can get a drawing of the same shape either externally like I'm doing now by pressing up or internally by pressing down so I'm going to go 
six millimeters in and then I'm also gonna make the line a little bit thinner. The next stage is we're just gonna get that and copy and paste it again. And this time we're gonna rotate it around and make it a lot smaller. See how it's building up now? So now I'm just gonna go to my align tool, align it vertically and align it horizontally. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on these two back ones and they're the ones that I'm gonna outline and send them to the back by pressing command shift and the back bar space. And then these two, I want that one to be filled in. So I'm gonna fill that in in white. And I'm also gonna fill this one in as well, but maybe I'll do that black. Then what you can do is select the ones that you want to join and then unite them all. And then that's one object in the background. And then you want this kind of like little star in the middle. So again, you can just add more or less. I'm gonna add more. I actually think it looks quite nice. And then I'm just gonna rotate it so it's in the right position. And then I'm just gonna draw a little circle in it. So now what I wanna do is I wanna merge, I've merged all of them and I wanna delete this star from the front. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Pathfinder again and click on this button, which is minus from front. And I've got these two as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this whole thing with that and then I'm gonna fill this as well. And there you go, that's one. I actually don't like the center thing. So I'm gonna get rid of that and then I'm gonna do another star, just like a six pointer. That other one wasn't as nice. So here we go. And I'm gonna rotate it until it's at an angle that I like. And then if I just centralize it, and that's another snowflake, done. And then now onto the more complicated and difficult one. So this is gonna be a lot of different components. This is gonna be a lot of different uh, shapes that we make up and a different way of doing it. So again, bringing out the star tool. So I want a six pointed star. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get this like kind of rounded shape. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on these different points. That I want to amend and then I'm just going to drag them out using this little circle and that kind of makes a similar shape so that's done and then I really like this kind of little edge on that's going on in here so I'm going to go object path offset path and then I'm just going to go a little bit smaller and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my scissors tool and then just snip off here and here and then I'm going to get rid of the rest. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my line tool to make it thicker and then I'm going to use my profile to make it a little bit pointy at the end and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it round and put it in the same position. Transform and reflect vertically. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building this tree. So again I'm going to use my star tool but this time I'm gonna make it smaller. So we're just gonna go for one and then I'm gonna make it wider and a little bit shorter. And as you can see, these dots here, you can bring them in. So I'm just gonna go bring them in by using my tab across tool and then I'm gonna round that off and round these two off as well. And that kind of makes the shape of the top of the tree. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste these until I've got a tree shape that I am happy with. So then I'm just gonna align it and make sure that they're spaced properly and I'm going to fill them in with black and then this is where I'm going to group them together and unite them make them a little bit smaller and then here we go make the line thicker okay so there we go there's the kind of tree section now I need to make the trunk which is pretty easy I'm just going to do this and I'm going to align it so it's all in the center there you go there is the trunk so I'm just going to rotate this until that's at the top and I can put that there and if it makes it easier I can just do that but what I want to do is I do want that thicker so we're gonna go four don't need that center bit so now all I need to do is copy and paste this round and move it into position copy and paste and then copy and paste and reflect boom and there are all the Christmas trees done so now what we've got to do is work on the stars in the center and we know how to do stars so I'm just gonna pull up another star and then make one with six and put it in the center. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group all of these trees together. And then what we can do is we can highlight everything and put them all in the center. And then let's do another star, but we'll do a five pointed one this time. And we'll just make it a little bit smaller than the one that I've put in the center. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that and rotate it round so it's upside down and move that to the bottom. And again, I just wanna make sure that these are all aligned. And then here we go again. We're gonna copy and paste and we're gonna put them next to the tree and then we're gonna reflect them. Cool. Now I'm not gonna do them little bits in between. Now we wanna make this one big shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
select all the trees and the background and then I'm going to make that into one shape. And then I'm just going to change the colour so it's easy to see. And I'm going to send everything to the back. And now I'm going to start removing bits from the foreground. So highlight everything and then remove from front. Control I and there is your snowflake. So now if you want them to look a little bit more snowflake like what you can do is you can add a gradient to it so what i do is i pull my swatches out and then i take the color that's in here and pull that out as well and then you open your gradients and you put your gradient in just like by clicking it and then you pull this color into the black circle affect everything that you want to have the gradient and then you can also put shadows on so if you go to effect stylize and add drop shadow you can add a shadow to it as well. And there you go. There is four different types of snowflakes that you can draw on Illustrator. Now you can go as complicated as you want to. You can do loads of different things in Illustrator. So just play and practice. But that's everything for today's video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. Please, please, please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy CADs and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. And it really helps support this channel. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Tra, tra, tra. Bye.